main event. He <laughs> this, this show. Oh my god, this show. Um all right, so Peacemaker uh, available on HBO Max. It is it is TV M A capital M A. <laughs> okay, it uh, it stars uh, John Cena and Robert Patrick, um, and it is it's a crazy comic book movie that you might not know you want until you see it, until you know you want it. You didn't know you wanted it. Until you wanted it, that that's kind of my take on this this show. So, either way, <laughs> what's your thoughts? <laughs> oh boy! Well, I I hit him with the with the one two first, and then you can go ahead and heal him because from how you described it, it sounded like you liked it. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. oh, I I know <laughs> I know I know where we're going already. <laughs> No, I, I I don't got much for you, bro. Like I, I I had a weird relationship with this show. Like on the one hand, I had to, on the one hand, I wanted to watch this more than Arcane. And by that I mean like as the show was going on, I found myself like at first I was alternating. I would watch one episode of Peacemaker and one episode of Arcane. And kind of just go through oh, that way. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. That's crazy. When I try to binge, when I try to binge stuff by myself, it don't get done. So I have to, I have to break it up. Got you. But by the time I got to episode three of Peacemaker, I really just ran with that, and I was like, I'll, I'll get because my my interest in Arcane kind of waned, and my interest in Peacemaker grew, even though. But this is where it gets complex because even though I wanted to watch Peacemaker more. I really did not rock with that show. And I never really did. Like, every time I was watching it, I was like, I do want to see what happens next, but I'm not really enjoying myself. Like, there were so many times where I was cringing and I was just yeah. getting upset and I was rolling my <laughs> eyes. And I felt like, like, I kept having to justify watching it to myself. Like, I would look myself in the mirror like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, I... <laughs> but like I can't just say it was the assignment. Like I I can't just say, homie told me to watch this during the week, so that's the only reason I watched it. Because there were times where I was like, I can't like a gorilla getting a chainsaw shoved through his chest is just the weirdest kind of cool. Like it's <laughs> it's the it's it's just that that move that TV show made me feel weird shit because I'm just like, why am I here? But every time I say, why am I here? Vigilante shoots a child in the face. I'm like, that's that's cool. Like, that's fucking funny. I don't know. Like, I I I don't like James Gunn, James Gunn's brand of humor. I don't like that he writes all the characters to be rifters. I don't like whenever an ensemble of characters is all the same person. And Peacemaker, it felt like all of them were the same type of funny. Okay. Okay. And that's the type of funny yeah. that I don't find funny. So, you know, whatever. Um, I don't like... Huh, I know you're supposed to understand Peacemaker by the end of this. I, I know that's the, the goal. But I don't like when you take that level of extreme immoralness that's not a word but <laughs> lack of morality if it's and here, try to try to contextualize like like the, you can't <clears throat> have you can't have vigilante gun down children which I, I, I know i've played it as a joke but it's not a joke that happened like you can't have him gun down children as part of the mission and i'm supposed to go yeah they're not all totally terrible people you know there's there's some good in it like no, you, you, no, you're trying to have a foot in both lanes at that point, and I can't. Don't don't do that. Just have Peacemaker be a dick, like. Or, and, and then on top of that, you you'll have moments where like they're in a restaurant and he'll call a, a girl sweet cheeks, and everybody will look at him and be like, "Well, that's not very, you know, politically correct." Like you can't, you can't have that conversation, considering what we're here to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're about to go right. murder families. And you're like, but don't, 
be misogynistic. And I'm not saying that like it's okay to be misogynistic. I'm not saying it's okay to be any of these things, but it's not okay to get up my ass about being this thing when you're ordering me to go murder an entire family, men, women. And but his tagline is, I want peace no matter how many men, women, and children I have to kill to get it. That is his mantra. <laughs> so the whole time I'm watching this show, where they had these moments of like, well, my dad was this, and he made me do this thing, and and then the butterflies are like, well, I found the most terrible man, but he has goodness in him. And but I'm like, yo, come on, come on, just just go Breaking Bad with it, please. I I don't I don't mind watching the villain. I I hate watching the villain that you try to convince me is a good is a good dude. But I've I've ranted about that enough. Uh, my point is, it was a confusing experience, and the, and by the time it ended, it was just. The, I hated the last episode. I hated the whole conclusion. I, I thought that shit was so... Mm -hmm. It yeah. got too goofy. Like, way too goofy. I'm like, even even the cameo couldn't save that. It was a nice cameo, but it couldn't save it at that point. I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Are we, are we done? And I watched the last episode with I know. One, one of my friends. Because I, I was at their house. I hadn't finished the show yet. So I was just like, I, I need to watch this last episode for, you know, for work. Uh, do you mind... So we watch it together, and she just looks at me and is like, yo, what the fuck is this? I'm like, yeah, I I, I can't, I don't have a, a, an excuse. It's like, it's it's like somebody walking in, and you got your dick in your hand, and like, they see porn on the screen. It's just like, I could try to tell you what's going on, but no, no explanation. Is Damn, kinda... I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> no, nah, that, 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 that was, that was me. It's like, I, it, if you walk in and see me watching this, I have to explain it to you. No, there's yeah, nothing, yeah, there's nothing no, to explain. It's definitely one of them shows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you have to like pause it and say, okay, I, I, I know, but, 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 hear me out. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's. I mean, I mean, first off, right, right at the top. This, this ain't for everybody. This is one of those shows that's just not going to be for everybody. Like, you have to check your brain at the door. Um, it's super cringy super crass and the, the best way i can explain this is like an adult swim cartoon that's shot in live action kind of like that's pretty good <laughs> that's kind of the best way to describe because if if you can if you can get past the opening sequence <laughs> right if you can get past that opening sequence you might enjoy the show you, because, mean, you mean like the, the dance number? Yeah, the dance and the pelvis thrusting. Oh and all my that. God, bro. I, Every episode. <laughs> oh god. But unlike Arcane, I never skipped it. I never skipped Neither it. Did I. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so confusing, bro. Like, I sat there and watched it. Every time and I'm like, yo, why am every I doing this? Every single time, at every single time, I'm like, this is the dumbest shit I have ever seen. But I can't look away. Why can't no. I look away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I love this show. Like, yeah, I. But I mean, I'm I'm kind of all I'm all here for like the the really dumb, really crass like Adult Swim shows, like. I, I, I love all those shows, like Aqua Teen, Hunger Force, to C-Lab 2020, to Harvey Birdman, and Venture Brothers. Like, I, I love all of them shows. And oh, they, and James, James Gunn definitely went on a, a old school Adult Swim binge when he wrote this show. Because I, I swear, like, I'm looking at some of this stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? What are we doing here? Like, the first two episodes... <laughs> It's, I don't, because it's, it's the whole time I'm just watching, you just hear like, what the hell is going on? Like, and, and I didn't know that they would go that far with like DC characters, because like Suicide Squad is like rated R, and mm -hmm. I think it's another DC property that's like rated R or something, right? Oh, um, uh, the Harley Quinn movie. Mm -hmm. It's rated R or PG thirteen or something like that, but they went they went beyond that with this show, like um, and uh, so like none of these characters are likable, 
and you're not supposed to like none of these characters, you know, but they still are given like Peacemaker, like a, a little character arc where, yeah, and, and like you're saying, like if everybody there is a piece of shit, like how are you going to like, like high bar him or like call him out on like stuff when all of y'all are like the worst, y'all are like terrible people. You know what I mean? But I do, but they, I think they, they kind of nail it. They kind of like give him this sort of, I'm not going to say redemptive arc, but like you, you're not that hard on him by the end of the, the show. Cause I mean, did you, you find out like, who his father is and you find out uh like the 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 thing he did when he was a kid that traumatized him and kind of set him on the path and it's like like with a dad like that you're going to be jacked up like yeah. <laughs> you, you you're going to come out jacked up They're like you're not going to be able to help that um but uh yeah i i like that i like um the, the one character that i couldn't stand was um uh, the the guy with the like the full body suit on, um, what was his vigilante. Name? Vigilante, yeah, I I just cannot. Even though he was funny, though he was funny, but I could like, oh my, I can't stand this dude. <laughs> and like, oh, so kill him, please. But no, he's actually like one of the main members of the team, apparently. And and they just brought him in too. They just they just kind of like brought him in, just like that. I'm yeah. just real. Vigilante is one of my favorite characters, comic book wise. Um, so when I saw what they did with him in the show, I was just like, "Are you, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Like, can we, can we not? Like, Vigilante is not like that in the comic books, right? Really? And I don't need my characters to be one for one replications of what they right, do. Right, right. And I suppose he's obscure enough that you can get away with doing that and not really piss too many people off because there's me and there's like three other people who are like well that's not how vigilante okay the rest okay. of the world is like i mean who the fuck is vigilante yeah, like so me i'm like, like who is this clown right <laughs> get him the hell out of here <laughs> so I, I i get it but it's just like again you're goofy you're the wrong kind of goofy you know what i mean like there's there is there is something you know sinister about somebody who's that detached that he can do the things that vigilante does right. with little to no emotion. Right. And and that can be compelling, that can be a compelling uh kind of uh dichotomy where you have like Peacemaker who does these terrible things in the name of like justice, and vigilante who who does do it in the name of justice, but like feels nothing. So right. like it could be this but you but when they're both rifters, again, as most of James Gunn characters are, you kind of lose that magic. So it's just like you're just another goofy nigga. But see, I didn't <laughs> even I didn't even get the feel that he was doing he was in it for like, you know, the right reasons or for like, you know, the justice will be a hero. He was just in it to kill people, <laughs> pretty much. Like that was his whole deal. Like, so yeah, I don't I don't know, I just didn't like to do it. And it, I don't know, a lot of his humor was just forced. I, there was one really funny part, though, when um somebody snatched his hood off and he was, like, making, like, like the funny faces. And yeah. <laughs> like, the, no, so they can't track my face with facial recognition. I, I, this guy. But, um, but yeah, so, and uh, the butterflies, like, uh, so there's, like, a, a alien race uh, called the butterflies that are supposedly taking people over. Um, and that's how, like, you were, like, talking about, like, the, the, the shoot, like, they basically, like, shot a whole family, like, husband, wife, kids, and everything. And, um, but I think, um, in, in, in that scene, like, Peacemaker was pretty much saying, like, he, he was just kind of like, like, you want me to shoot <laughs> this kid, but you're not telling me exactly why, you know, like, how, so, like, how, yeah, that's, and he would go back at him, like, how y'all getting on me, calling me an asshole, but you want me to do all this like crazy devious shit like for you and you won't even tell me like what's going on. Know what I'm saying? So yeah, because he he would like go back at them like that. But yeah, um, I think and all of them were like the same character, I would say, 
except for uh hardline i think her name was like the blonde chick um and adebayo were like um kind of they, they weren't like uh like uh dye beard <laughs> you, you like to call them <clears throat> and uh vigilante and um and the 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 lead up there because all all three of them just yeah, like yelling and ripping on each other like and it's i don't know i liked it it was funny it was dumb crass juvenile humor but i i liked it it was pretty funny and yeah like the um seeing john cena just just like just on just nailing the chick just in buff just in the straight buff was i wasn't prepared to see that <laughs> you yeah, know. Not. I'm like, no, no, I, I can't see this. I can't. See this. <laughs> but that that was wild. That was crazy. And and this is this is John Cena's character. Honestly, this this is his character moving forward. He he completely kind of nails this. And like going forward in the DC universe, this is kind of his his corner of it. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, the craziest scenes in this were like um. He like, well, I think it was the helmet like completely blasted this chick who was like in in midair, uh -huh. which was a but we, we didn't I guess we didn't know at the time, but was a butterfly, you know, like that was crazy. Like you just see like everything just get blasted clean off of her. That was wild. Um, the the uh, chainsaw, the the gorilla. First off, like what the, why is there a damn gorilla in this? And then he just chainsawed in half. That was wild. Um, uh, Eagly. <laughs> oh, yeah. was one Damn of my favorite you, characters. <laughs> that was one of my favorite characters in this. Like, <laughs> I love when um uh uh the the big die beard was like getting into trying to get in the car, and the eagle's just like pecking his ass the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> that was funny. Um, I, yeah, I, it was. It's not for everybody. It's really dumb. It's you know it's. It wasn't that much nudity in it, but there's a lot of violence. And yeah, it's, I enjoyed it. It's just turn, it's one of those just turn your brain off and just watch some stupid shit for, you know, like 40 minutes, you know, just kick back. Oh, Robert Patrick, bro, like Robert Patrick is like, like a super serious actor. He's one of those actors that, that always plays a bad guy or like a yeah. super serious guy. And like having him in this, just being like this really just dumb character, this dumb villain, um, and <laughs> having him in the in the beginning with the with the little pelvis thrust in the beginning, it's like, man, what? How how did they get him to do this? <laughs> how did they talk he him checked. into this? <laughs> I guess he checked, bro. I guess, but I, yeah, it's not for everybody. I enjoyed it though. All right, so what's 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 your score? Which what you gonna give it? Well, see, that's where it gets complicated because I wanna I wanna dirt this thing so badly because <laughs> I didn't like it. That being said, if if I kept watching and wanted to keep watching and I acknowledge that I wanted to keep watching, then something, even if all you got out of me was ire was working to pull me back for all eight episodes. And I and I didn't have to, I didn't have to watch it. Like I, I didn't feel forced to watch it. So I will give it a four. Because clearly it has appeal. I, I don't know what part of me it's appealing to because consciously I really, I mean it. I really did not enjoy this show, but it's, it's doing something right. So, fuck it. I'll give it a four. <laughs> it's, just, it's just dumb. It's stupid. And it's just stuff you've never really seen in a show before. And you're just sitting there like, what the hell are they doing? The whole, the whole like, six, six or seven episodes, the whole time you're just sitting there like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> like, I think that's, that's the appeal of it. And you, you, it's like a, maybe it's like it's a, a train wreck that you can't look away from. Maybe it's one of them things, I guess. But man, I'm giving it a five. I dug it, man. I was I loved this show. I loved it, and it was it was 
one of those things I was getting, I was like looking forward to watching it just so I could sit there and just laugh at this dumb shit that they're doing like every episode, you know, just mm-hmm. kick back and just unwind show. Like it is what it is at, at face value. It's just, it's just dumb. <laughs> it's just a dumb show. And like, cause uh, if you're not a fan, if you get, get past the cock rock in it, if you can get past like a lot of the, the old kind of dumb and kind of loose tropes that don't really try. Um, if you can get past the, the alien invasions who, oh, by the way, they're, they're taking over and killing people to save us, that whole thing. You know, they're going to save the whole planet. Yeah, right. Okay. I, you might enjoy it, man. You might. You just might. I don't know. But, all right, that's it. I think, I think we're good, bro. Word. I listen. Good. I I'm a, I'm expose you for a second in front of everybody, right. whoever everybody is. Oh, both of the shows we watch, he presented to me. Every now, these aren't the only two shows, but he presented a list of shows. And yeah, fairness, right. I picked these two, but this this is what he came with. So I just want you to imagine for a second if this is what I picked. What else must have been on that list for me to ignore to sit here and watch it? So next on, time... Let me see. Let me see. What did I put on there? I think I put some kind of legit picks out there. Oh, Archive 81, which I... I mean, it's horror. It's, it's not that bad, but it is horror. But it's... I, I think you might like it. I, I think... Just check out the trailer and see if you like it. It's, it's cool. Um... And Book of Boba Fett. That was the other one. That's the week after next, because I'm picking the shows next. I, <laughs> I I get the two shows for next week. All right, because I'm not, I, I can't believe I let you put me through that, bro. I was, as soon as Peacemaker started, I was like, what the Yo, fuck? Where you put, uh, you, you want to do Peacemaker? I was like, bet, bet, bet that, because I, I am so interested to know what somebody else's thoughts of this dumb crazy ass show is oh god well it's but it, over but it got a, it got a nine out of ten though it did it got a nine i'm not gonna be a hater i'm i'm not gonna lie either but i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna bomb it just because you know whatever i these are all issues that i personally have and i just feel like you know if it <laughs> if it if it meant that much to me I would have just texted and been like, I can't do this or something. Like when I I, I was half expecting that too. <laughs> I was kind of having to be like, man, nah, I can't. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> the intro almost had me at that point. Like, because you know what's funny? When it started, I thought it took like a solid 30 seconds worth of the intro for me to realize this was a title sequence. And when I made that connection, I was like, oh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be bad, bro. Oh my god, I'm screwed. Eight episodes, I got to deal with it. Okay, all right. But like you said, never looked away, never yeah. skipped it. A couple of times, I fucking rewound it, and I'm not kidding. Like I, I was like, no, I got to see that again. Yeah, it's just <laughs> the disbel. I think it's just the disbelief that like we're doing this. We actually <laughs> we're doing this. This is what we're doing. Okay, all right. I guess. Yeah, he committed. But it don't. I don't. I'm tr- and I. I think every episode I'm trying to make sense of why is that the title sequence? Like the cock rock, I get. Like I get that because it's like this. Uh, this is Peacemaker. He's into that. He's stuck in like the '80s and '90s hair metal bands mm-hmm. thing. He's stuck in that that era. Okay, I get that. The dance moves though, I I can see why he would do it because he's just a really lame ass white dude. Like he he can't dance and do nothing. But why is everybody else? Like dancing yeah. like this, like yeah. I, with I'm the guessing, straightest face. <laughs> uh, I, one of my favorite parts is um, like the the cop, you no, know, the the guy cop with the mustache, like uh-huh. where he do his little dance. I that was my favorite part, seeing him do his dance because he had the straight face and he looked like he was getting into it too. He was that job, like <laughs> I, was like, I love that part. But I'm guessing they're all butterflies or something like they've been taken over by butterflies and they're 
like and so they're just like going through the motions like that i'm guessing i don't know like because i was oh. racking my brain trying to figure out what does this mean <laughs> that, that's a that might be it bro like i never even i never even thought about why it was happening I, I, you know I what I mean? like, that's the only thing i got that's the only explanation i got oh no but yeah I, I'll, I can, I'll take it if you could get through that title sequence, you might, you might enjoy it. <laughs> you can at least get through it. If you can get through title sequence, you can definitely get through it.